like uh how do you cuz I got a bunch of questions about a bunch of shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But how does um how does black people deal with like family stuff? You know what I mean? Cuz I know that's a big thing like in the black community, black families like when stuff go down in the black family, like no, 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 we don't talk about it. No, 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 just we don't say nothing about it. Of course. <laughs> like, it, 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 one thing about the black family is we were just really loyal to the saying, "What happens in this house stays in this house." And that is probably one of the most toxic sayings. No, what happens here doesn't need to stay here. We need to tell on Uncle Jimmy. Like, yeah. you don't just yeah. let Uncle Jimmy do what he did and not tell, you know. So that's, I mean, we have to unlearn. It's There are a lot of things that we have to unlearn. And, and as young people, as parents, like new parents and, you know, entering into new marriages, that's when you determine, like, what are new practices that you want to have for your household? Do you want to have open dialogue with your kids? My specialty, I work with children and adolescents. So from age six to like 22 is where I primarily focus my practice in. Um, Do you want to have open dialogue with your kids? Right. Mm -hmm. Um, For those of us that didn't have that opportunity to have that dialogue in our home, it's addressing that. It's, It's actually acknowledging that, yeah, my parents were not perfect. You know, the the things that I learned as a child were not all the correct things that I should have. But acknowledgement does not mean that you're saying someone was wrong. I think that that's where a lot of people kind of get stuck in. Like, I don't want to say that I had bad parents. No, they weren't bad parents. There's no book to parenting. A lot of people have written books. But that doesn't mean that it's the guideline, right? right because right. so many kids are different. So you can read that book and it still doesn't apply to your child. Right. Okay. But acknowledging that there were some practices in your home or in homes of black families that were incorrect, it's not a bad thing. You're just saying like, hey, that was wrong. That's not what I want to do. Right. Mm-hmm. We're going to do something different in this house. In this household, we are going to have the opportunity for my kids to express their feelings so that they learn healthy communication. Because a, a lot of what and it's not just um, black men, a lot of black women don't realize how much they shut down as well and how much they suppress their feelings and don't talk about in a healthy manner the way that they feel about things. A lot of people are quick to just, you know, like snap. Mm-hmm. You know, like James, he went off on you. you know, yeah. James didn't have the right words. He didn't know what else to say, so he just snapped, right? But yeah. that happens a lot because we weren't given those tools when we were younger. So it's really just acknowledging that those practices that I had when I was a kid, that's not what I want in my life now. I'm going to deal with the trauma. I'm going to actually talk about what happened in my household that was not comfortable, Right. What happened in my household that I didn't think was right and the things that over time made me angry or made me upset or made me sad. Like it's it's um, one of the things that I notice when I work with young black boys Mm -hmm. is that one of the main things, the feelings that they describe is mad. I'm mad when really they don't understand that they're really just disappointed Mm. in their mom or they're disappointed in their friend but we as a people have decided that mad and anger are our feelings so mm. we have two feelings mad or happy mm. you know like what mm. well, what's in between that you yeah. could be disappointed you could just be confused you might not even be mad you're just confused about why that person moves the way they move you know yeah and you need a better understanding but that comes from communicating and being able to really express, okay, you did this, and I didn't really understand how you thought that was okay for you to do that to me. And so walk me through how, you know, walk me through your thought process. Yeah. And allowing that person to explain themselves. And then it's like, okay, well, I'm not confused anymore. I just really didn't like that. So how do we work through that? You know, yeah, learning yeah. boundaries is another thing that we don't do um, as a whole. Is understanding what your boundaries are. And then making sure that people don't cross them. And when they do cross the boundaries, again, in a healthy way, expressing that.